unlock the triangle. Today, I'm gonna show you how to unlock those powers with your eyes. Just look at the examples around and see which one you need. I try to include as many examples as I can. And don't forget, you guys can hit that description box and there is a free worksheet in there where you can follow along with the problems. Let's just get started. Remember, all triangles, when you add them, all the expressions add up to 180. 180. 180. Let's go. And we're gonna build you into becoming the geometry master, geometry triangle pro master, whatever title you wanna give yourself, you will understand this. It is these three angles that will add up to 180. X does not equal 180. That is not 180. I've also seen people do 35 plus 50. That's what X is gonna equal. So X equals 85. Mm. That is wrong. And the only way not to mess this up in the beginning, if this is a topic you're confused about, is to set up an equation. Let's add everything in the inside. And when I add those together, I mean, it doesn't matter what order you do it. You could have done X plus 35 plus 50. That's going to equal 180. From here, it's just a simple algebra problem. First, you got to combine like terms. So I got to combine 35 and 50. That's going to give me 85 plus X equals 180. And then all you got to do is subtract 85 on both sides and you're done. X equals 95. Here's what I also want you to start doing. I mean, I don't want you just to get an answer. I want you to know what it actually means. So we said that X is going to equal 95. And here's how you check your answer. If I add 35, 95, and 50, I add them all up, that better equal 180. If it doesn't, then you did some algebra wrong, you set up an equation wrong. So always check, 35 plus 95 plus 50 should give you 180, and that's how you check your answer. Let's move on to example number two. So we got triangle Kim, K-I-M. First, we want to find out X by setting up an equation. And all you got to do, really, these triangle questions, if you're trying to solve for X, just take everything in the inside, write an expression when you add them all up like this, 40 plus 100 plus 2X. And again, it doesn't matter what order you do it, equals all triangles, angles in the inside add up to 180. Next, combine like terms. These two I can combine because they don't have a variable with it. So that's going to be 140 plus 2x and that equals 180. Now I have to solve for x. I want to get x by itself. And you got to get rid of 140 first on both sides. You're left with 2x equals 40 and divide both sides by 2. And you got yourself a part of the problem. That is not it though. That is just solving for X to get 20. So that doesn't mean IMK is 20. You have to look at the expression for IMK. So first, we know that IMK, angle IMK, is equal to 2X. And look what you got. I mean, you can make this connection. X is 20, right? So all you gotta do to get IMK, and when they got three letters like that, I forgot to mention, it's the middle letter that you're trying to find. IMK is that angle. All you gotta do is plug in your X, which is 20, and you got yourself IMK. Two times 20, which equals 40. And once again, check to see if all of those will add up to 180. So if I know that this is 40, and I add 40, 140, that better equal 180, or we're gonna have to start this video once again. Now we got more than one angle with expressions on it, and you're pretty much still doing the same thing. If I add all these up, I better get 180. 1x plus 3x, and don't forget that 60, and all of that will equal 180. So this is just different because we're combining like terms and this time it's the variables that have like terms. So now you got 4x plus 60 equals 180. 
Two-step equation, get rid of the 60 first. Now I got 4x equaling 180 minus 60 is 120. You divide both sides by 4, and you got x. You got part of the problem. You're not done yet. Don't give up yet. Now we know what x is. x is 30. If I want to find out angle B, all I got to do is plug it in. So B is going to be 3 times 30. So B is going to equal 90. That's it. C is just x and x is 30. Let's do one more. And I'm going to give you guys the Silva technique to get this done in a lot more organized way. Let's start off by writing all the angles. I got 2x. But here's where the technique starts to happen. You can also write this vertically. And here's why I like doing it this way. That symbol right there is a right angle, meaning that it's a 90 degree angle. So we're going to write it up and down. All I'm doing is writing this up and down instead of sideways like that. And why am I doing that? Because if you look at it, it's a lot easier to combine like terms. 2x plus 3x, that's just 5x. You can combine like terms a lot easier when it's up and down like this. Plus 70 equals 180. And it goes back to that two-step equation. Subtract 70 on both sides. Now you got 5x equaling to uh, 180 minus 70 is 110. Divide by 5 on both sides. And you got yourself x. x is going to equal 22. When you got three letters like this, it's the middle one that you're trying to find. So D, F, E, you're finding this angle. All you got to do is plug in your value for X, three times 22 minus 20. And if you did that correctly, that will equal 46. So there's one answer. Now let's do E, D, F. E, D, F has the expression 2X, just plug in a 22 for X, that's going to equal 44. You know that that's 90 now. You know that this is 44. And you know that this piece is 46. Add them all up, you better get 180. I want you to try these two problems out. Just pause the video. Remember, all the expressions when you add them inside a triangle adds up to 180. When you're done, unpause the video for the answers. Here's your answer. Hopefully we got matching answers. Remember, all three have to add up to 180 and it helps a lot if you write it vertically. Don't let this negative x confuse you either. And if there's not a number in front, the coefficient is negative 1. So you get x equals negative 49. Some people be freaking out over here because your answer is negative and then you're going to start saying, well, you can't get a negative answer. You can't get a negative angle. That does not mean that that's the measurement of this angle. That is just the value of X that you're going to plug in for this expression. So you're going to get one of those double negatives right there. And negative negative 49 is 49 minus 5. And angle I will then be 44. The next one done the same way. And it helps a lot when you organize it like that. It's a lot easier to add and combine like terms up and down. So now I got this at 68, 36, and these are the angle measurements for those missing angles. I am proud of you. I hope you are a triangle professional now. If this video helped, make sure you throw me a thumbs up. I will see you on the next episode. Peace.